Hello bag family. Um, we're back with another brief video and today we're going out to uh, get some medicine from our local pharmacy and we are driving out the junction and want to show you the road conditions uh, over here again okay. We always saying hey if you want to come and visit uh, until the road uh, conditions get a little bit better don't come uh, during rainy season so you can see how you know we have to fix up the roads right here like this here now it is what it is guys I or we want you to know what you're um, coming into now if the road conditions are enough to stop you from coming to freedom guys you didn't want freedom in the first place because you know the Underground Railroad in America you know, Harriet Tubman and all that, those roads were worse than this because there was uh, slave catchers at every junction. See right here, this junction, this little Y or T in the section right here, there'd have been a, a slave patrol there, a slave patrol there, and a slave patrol there. So would you rather go through a couple of bumps or try to make it past those slave catchers want to put you back into captivity? So these little road conditions, although they're a little bit inconvenienced, they pale in comparison to the Underground Railroad, all right? So suck it up and drive on. So Sweet Juicy Mama, you want to say anything as you I'm handle it? I'm driving on. Okay, good job, Sweet Juicy Mama. Outstanding. Yes. Okay. Finally get to put her little juicy butt on the camera instead of her just uh, fixating on me. I was on the camera yesterday. I know, Sweet Mama, you was excellent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the camera you, out of my face. Okay then, Sweet Mama. All right, so here we go now, guys. Now another thing too, I we we uh, try to figure out is why the junctions aren't bigger. You know, it's like um, barely enough room for one vehicle to get past, and then when people kind of like park in front of their uh, compounds, it's even less space. It's all good though. It's all good. See that metal right there, guys. I was wondering during some type of recycling venture of metals, if we could generate that uh, um, complexity of, of metal because the UK is making a killing importing that wire or exporting that wire to the Gambia and stuff, okay? So anyway, all right, we finally and successfully made it to the junction and Sweet Juicy Mama is doing her thing, driving what the, uh, 70 miles per hour on a 20 mile an hour road. I'm doing 40. You're doing 40, let's see. It that says, thing don't work, that thing don't work. <laughs> anyway guys, all right. You've seen this route here so many times and I'm not gonna show it to you more. Wow, that's that's a swimming pool there. Woo. How was it? No, I mean the water was, it looked like it's growing. Anyway, guys, hey. This is the last uh, heavy dose of what we're going to get for this year. That's right. In September. So that's, that's right. Sweet Mama's right. This is the last heavy dose of rain during this year. Now, in October, it, it's sort of sporadic and it's sort of like sprinkle in and on, but not to this magnitude and stuff, okay? So, not oh, everybody ready for it to end. Well, the farmers are not Happy, ready to yeah. do, because this is how... Uh, we get our crops and stuff during the rainy season. And we gotta fix that, guys. I mean, guys that are coming uh, uh, to the Gambia or anywhere on the African continent, hey, if you got any inklings on, hit that windshield, sweet mama, it's getting blurry. I can't see myself film. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
as I was saying, anybody coming to the African continent and got any inklings of farming or, or uh, planting fruit trees, bring some type of irrigation system, guys. When we were in America getting ready to escape, that is what I was on um, um, Craigslist nonstop looking for irrigation systems. Irrigation systems so we are not dependent on rain-fed crops. You see what I'm saying? We want to be able to produce crops year-round because, again, the soil is the best in the world. So let's go ahead and, and take advantage of that benefit and produce crops year-round like we always say we want to produce watermelons year-round. None of this out-of-season stuff, you know? Stop that. No longer valid. So reboot. Watermelons are always available to the beautiful melanated people of the Gambia and the African continent as a whole. So we're gonna jump off of this right now, guys. Uh, just wanna show you again a little bit of the water, ah. the water conditions and stuff. Look at this water. This is the main road. Yeah, this is the main road, guys. This is where a majority of the Neanderthalistic traffic goes on. Senegambia Strip. Senegambia Strip. Uh, I think the, the the story that's told to me is that uh, the Lebanese came up here and bought up this area and nothing's for sale. You can only come in and rent. And this is where all the the the, 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 the trafficking and all this other type of stuff go on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I said this before, I'm going to say it again. This is the equivalent of Rush Street in Chicago. You go there, you can find anything and everything. And that's what uh, Senegambia Strip mm. is, just like Chicago, all right? You remember him? No. He got in the van. Okay. Oh, tried to steal something? <laughs> yeah, had to boot, get, show him the door. Yeah. Searching all in the glove Yeah, <laughs> this guy who we had broke down and he was trying to, yeah, he was trying to fleece us, really. But he said, let me help you to, uh, find a mechanic so he jumped in so he jumped in the vehicle he jumped in the vehicle and as I get out to check on sweet juice and mama he's rambling through my glove compartment box and I'm like dude you gotta get the hell out so you know he wasn't at the land we couldn't show him the gate but he was in the vehicle we showed him the door <laughs> that was fun. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, mama, mm -hmm. I didn't do that. He was like, what, well, sweet mama, do that no, impression again. No, mama, I didn't do that. But then I said, how did the glove com compartment uh, get I open? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> like it was, a, we had a remote control to yeah, it, right? Yeah, it was funny, though. Okay, so anyway, guys, now right here, sweet juice and mama's br uh, backing up. I'm going to show you the, uh, she knocked it down one time. That was uh, over there. Oh, okay, Somebody yeah. else did. <laughs> okay. Look at it, they fixed it. Let me it. see if I can zoom in on that. See that little... A uh, little miniature wall back there. Sweet Juice and Mama was backing into that and caved in that whole wall. I didn't do that wall. part, John. It was down that way a little bit in front of the taxi, but y'all get no, the drift. No, it was actually on the other side. But it don't matter. You knocked that whole wall down. That's a lie. You did it. We saw you. <laughs> and the brother tried to he tried to take me to the, to the jail, and the, the owner said, "You don't do that to your customers." Yeah. No, but we, you, we'll take care of that. But you did knock down that whole wall. No, sweet mama. it was just a chill. With the van, and it was on a the chip, side. sweet mama. Come yeah, on now. actually, I think this guy's moved. But I'm just saying, so sweet mama, you move. knocked down that whole damn wall. That's a, see, it's down. Oh, they took no, it all down. No, sweet, no, that sweet was mama. it right there. No, sweet mama. Uh uh, and no. It. I tried. And the brother to tell worked for her, said, no. I need to get the money. I yeah, said, he was okay. trying to get paid. You know, I was scam. like, No, you're not getting anything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, These is, I'm sure they have something in place. If something like this happens, right, they can repair and they wouldn't put it on their customers. And yeah. that's exactly what the owner did. Mm -hmm. He was, she was actually mad at him. Yeah, but anyway, I, the way I recall, the way I recall the story, sweet mama knocked down that whole wall. <laughs> As I tell true. this story often, it was actually it's gonna, one chip. It, the, the the space is going to spread more and more, and pretty soon. Y'all saw the video yesterday pretty, where he didn't get anything <laughs> pretty right. Soon, so. Pretty soon, she gonna knock down the whole Senegambia uh, gate. We Look, need to do that. I'm just, like, I agree. Africans don't own it. So. I agree, sweet mama. Okay, out for now, guys. Hey, Dougie, Dougie. Sit. Sit. Roll over. Fetch. Paul. Paul. You got to say, acha, acha. You, you can't say it in English. You got to, uh, hello. <laughs> can't use English commands over here, guys. Even though the, uh, the, uh,
official language is English. When you're talking to the pets, you gotta use Wolof and stuff, okay? Okay, now this right here is the pharmacy that one of the pharmacies that Sweet Juicy Mama comes to use out here in Senegambia. And, you know, needless to say, it's not operated by us guys. Uh, we know of one place here in the Gambia that's operated uh, by a brother. And that's way in Brakama going out toward um, C4 and Bag and stuff. So, you know, we sure not about to drive way out there to get our prescriptions and stuff. So anyway, this is the place. We did a video on it, the um, Senegambia Strip. And again, you can go up in there and find everything. Street walkers, uh, whatever, okay? Just a little brief route. Now I can't have this uh, out because right now it's, it's um, sprinkling and I don't want this camera to get bad. But then uh, Sweet Juicy Mama be talking all that smack and I ain't got time for it today because it's really early and stuff. Look at her vehicle. All right. Now I tried to persuade her not to buy this, but she went ahead and, you know, overruled me. You know how Sweet Juicy Mama gets at time. She always right. So a lot of times, you know, we're in there trying to fix some little mechanical issues. But once it's running, it is an excellent ride. But you know, just kind of got some little issues on it and stuff. Yep. And we want to get a bigger one because Kiki is wanting one. You know, when we get out the bag, you know, they're going to want to come back here and chill out with their friends and all that good stuff because we are out there quite a bit. Much to my liking. Much, much to my liking. Okay. And if you're shipping a vehicle over here, you can get two of these right here inside of a 40 foot container, perhaps even more if they can properly stack them on top of each other and um, not damage them when they get them out the container cause some guys, when they bring them out the container, they damage them. I mean, I mean like the, the mirrors on the side will break and the windshield will have a little crack. So you kind of got to be careful about the shippers you use and you got to emphasize to them, man, if you damage my vehicle, bruh, it's gonna be repercussions, you know, you need to reimburse me and stuff, all right? Okay, just wanted to show you that. All right, I'll let you later. All right, family, this is the vehicle that I want right here. Since I can't get back to America real fast or willingly want to go, this is what I want. It's a Mercedes, a 709D. It's a manual, and look at that spider, guys. Is that a poisonous spider? Look how big that doggone spider is. Oh my God. Ooh, let me know if that spider's poisonous. Those are that are into that arachnophobia or whatever the type deal. But see, this is what I like. See, you got the dually wheels in the back. I like that. Now, the only thing that I... Hello, ma'am. The only thing I don't like is, see right here? There's no place for me to pull those 16-foot trailers. But if you can see on the back back there, I can pack a lot of stuff like that and stuff. And I don't mind getting one of these right here. Um temporarily over here now you know with the income that we uh, generate from uh other uh sources our budget can afford this right here and stuff but it again you know uh <laughs> this is what i like to to uh transport stuff until i get that one ton duly from america and stuff all right this is my main man right here. What's up, brother? Yeah, What's right. happening? How are you? Everything's okay? Yeah, it's That's good. Good to see you again. Yes. All right, we're going to shop now. Oh, yeah, the rain, yeah. Now, you know, every time uh, Sweet Juicy Mama and Kiki come out, they always, they always want to come to Amsterdam. And Sweet Juicy Mama, before she buys it new, she comes over here and tries to see if she can find it used. And so right now, I think she wants a coffee pot. These are some beautiful vehicles that are coming in from America and, or Holland and they're overpriced beautiful but overpriced and stuff so you know in america looking at this right here what is it a misabishi endeavor in america you probably get that for three to five thousand over here at amsterdam that'll probably cost you about like um eight or maybe ten thousand so you see the difference in the price because you gotta get ship it over here in a container and get it out the port and here's another one for those of you that say well I'd just rather come over here and buy it, you know, instead of ship it over here. 
you'll come over here and you'll see a lot of car lots like this right here that sell these vehicles that are shipped from Europe, America, or wherever and stuff. Overpriced, okay? But it is what it is. All right, guys. I'm walking around in the um, Amsterdam, our um, used goods store that we go to every time we come out. And I came across this propaganda right here. Look at this right here. Devils are hell-bent on stealing our history now. Look at this Neanderthal. They want us to believe that she is the ancient Egyptian. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't that something? Propaganda war is deep, guys, and it's non-stop. But they want us to believe this is what the ancient Egyptians look like. Now, we already know that's BS, okay? All right. Sweet Juicy Mama and uh, Kiki, when they come to Amsterdam, they're always looking for clothes. But me, I'm looking for stuff to uh, benefit uh, Black Acres of the Gambia. So these right here are some hooks that we will put into concrete or wooden walls to help hold our tools. So when we have some equipment or whatever that gets damaged, you know, we go to the tool room. We don't have to dig in toolboxes per se. We can just pick them off the wall, you know, uh, drills and uh, ratchets and things of that sort. So this is what I'm purchasing today. Didn't see anything else worth it, but uh, sweet Juicy Mama, she got clothes, all right? You say he's stuck? I don't know if he's stuck uh, oh, or running not. Out of gas. Oh, that's a common occurrence here, running out of gas, because we've done it several occasions ourselves. Anyway, guys, uh, we are concluding uh running around buying all this stuff sweet juicy mama got me running around with my tongue hanging all out tired exhausted fatigue she is a buying machine we probably been to about 20 different um uh, stores buying goods and check this out we found um a contractor a professional contractor now he's admitted that he's a small contractor but he's licensed uh, and he's the brother of the president. <laughs> so we gonna give him a shot at uh, building uh, our first compound uh, at Black Acres of the Gambia now. If the price is right. If the price is right. Now he gonna take us around and show us around um, the, the many, many projects that he's done. But uh, let me call out his name just in case you guys know. Help us out because we, we uh, Getting close to 40,000 subscribers. And, oh my God, what the heck was that? It's up on the Come back. It came off. What oh, kind of business card is that? <laughs> that ain't good. Yeah, but anyway, let's see if they can see that name. Can you guys see that name right there? This is the name of it. RKS Construction Company. And he's right over there. Seiko Barra. He's the CEO. And we're going to give this guy a shot at building our first uh, compound. Out of Black Acres of the Gambia, you know the one that's 4,000 square meters, five bedrooms, uh, three and a half uh, baths. So uh, we're gonna see how that turn out. Again, it's uh, still rainy season. So after it clears up a little bit and we're able to uh, facilitate development out there, we'll run around and check out some of his uh, properties. He does hotel construction as well as um, residential. And so we're gonna see if he understands what uh, Black Acres of the Gambia is doing and wants to be part of the team. All right, sweet mama. Uh, you got anything to add before I close out this video? Some big old papayas. You want some of them papayas, sweet mama? Ooh, that's a big one. I Ooh. love papaya. Just like you love avocados, I love papaya. My head looking right. No, sweet mama, believe me, you still sexy. Uh, okay. All right then, sweet Bam. mama. Whatever. So anyway, sweet mama, uh, mm -hmm. do you want to add any parting comments as we close off this video peace bag family i love you all right good job sweet mama you love me too always all right sweet mama i love Drink you me too water now. okay then sweet mama get a sip for me too sweet mama oh woo! Woo! we need to hurry home bye guys all right bye family see you next video